welcome to my channel. Today we will be making the 1920s leaf and this will be part three of the ribbon, the ribbon series. So we were reading in the Artful Ribbon book by Candace Kling. So today we'll, we will be making some leaves. So grab your ribbon and your thread and let's make some leaves. So I hope that you all are doing well and are having a blessed and happy day today. And God bless you all. So we are on page 70, well, 78 and 79. And we are going to make these gorgeous leaves. I think these are just, they're fun to make. And the directions are pretty simple. And um, not only does a leaf have to be green it could be any color see like right here they're showing that these are cream and kind of a grayish color right here and then right here they're a darker it looks like a darker cream and then on the inside of here is the cream on the ribbon and then this has gold on the outside so it's really pretty I don't have any green ribbon I have this kind of green ribbon, but this isn't the right kind, and it's not quite big enough. So, um, I've tried to make some leaves with this last night, and it's just way too small. So, I need something just a little bit bigger, and I've even noticed that the, the wire, it's better with wire as well, when you gather it together it makes it look just like a leaf. So we're gonna play around with some colors and I wanted to show you some that I've already made. So here's a, a small leaf. And see on the back side, that's how it, what it looks like on the back side. So when you go and glue it down or sew it down on a project, you do it just like that and it's then it's flat. So you just, you'd put your hot glue right here or sew right here and right here down on your project and it's flat. So they look, you know, they look pretty fluffy, but they flatten out pretty easy. And then here's a small leaf. And I will be using some of these for our corsage making. I'm hoping to get that video up next, but if I don't, it'll be in a couple videos down the road. And here's another one with a ribbon. Now this one is a really pretty ribbon. I'll show you, just hang on a second. This one has kind of a, a point to it, and I didn't even mean to make a point on it. And then here's a large leaf. But aren't they just pretty? Oh, let me try and cover the light. It's so bright today. It's been so pretty, almost like springtime weather. What's the weather like in your where you live? Is it getting warm? So this one I got at a thrift store the other day, and um, I think it's beautiful. Look at it. It has roses on it and green leaves. So that's why I made a leaf out of it, because it's got green in it. And this should go really well with the the Mother's Day corsage I'm going to make with you with you guys. So that'll be fun. So let's get right into making this leaf. Now I'm going to make one. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do. Let's let's put it with this flower real quick. So there's the leaf off to the side. And I made this rolled, ruffled rose last night after I um, got finished making the video for you guys. So that was super fun to make. So let's, um, let's get going. So let me read this to you first, and then I'll show you the size and what ribbon I'm going to use. 1920s leaf. In 1920s standard, this simple leaf's appearance is more rounded at the tip than its boat-shaped cousin. Its overall appearance is more oval. So this will be our leaf that we're making today. And this is the boat leaf over here on the next page that they're talking about. But I've noticed with stiffer ribbon like this one, 
it made a stiffer rose in a point at the top. So I just wanted to give you that in, you know, information. And this one is one and a quarter. So that one was a little bit bigger than the other one. 1920s leaf. Cut a six and a half ribbon width length of ribbon or greater. Fold the ribbon in half crosswise, just like this picture. Start stitching at the fold, back stitching to secure your knot. Take one eighth or eighth and or fourth stitch stitches along the entire edge of what will be the spine of your leaf. When you reach the end, draw your stitches and back stitch to secure. Don't cut your thread. You will use it to continue stitching. If the wired ribbon, if using unwired ribbon, use especially large stitches, about a fourth, and the edges will appear down center of your leaf from the form little ridges. If you want your unwired ribbon leaves to hold their shape, try stitching with bead beading wire instead of thread. Continue stitching this time along the two raw edges. When you reach the edge, knot off and cut your thread. Don't draw in this section. Okay, so we're going to take this first section first. So here's the ribbon that I'm going to use. So this this is a pretty this is a pretty big one. It says it's two and a half inches. So and it said to use let's see it said to use six and a half ribbon length. So we're going to cut right there and make sure you don't cut with your good scissors. I always remind you that because these little things right here will mess up your scissors. Okay, so let's work on this one. Now, let's see if I remember right, we want to fold the outside in. So here's the outside of the ribbon. So you want to fold the outside in like that. All right. So that's how you want to start. And I already have a thread ready to go, but all I have to do is knot it real fast. Let me knot it real, real quick. All right. So here's the face. We're going to fold it in like this. All right, now we're going to start doing the running stitch. Oops, can you see? I have lots of light coming in lately. So you just want to do a running stitch on the edge. All right. So now let's gather it and we're going to keep it gathered here. And remember this is wired ribbon, two and a half inch wired ribbon. All right. So now we want to make sure we close it off so it stays pretty like this. So I'm going to do back stitch. All right, don't cut your thread. So here we go. We have that just like this. So that matches that. Now it's saying to continue stitching this time along the raw edges. So here's the raw edges. When you reach the edge, knot off and cut your thread. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish this part. I'm gonna sew off the edge now. Oops, it's getting stuck right here. Okay, 
almost done but don't gather in this edge keep this edge flat like it said all right so now we're going to put a knot in here Oh. All right, so I kind of knotted it right there. But I can fix that. Let's let's uh, use these scissors and uh trim off the extra there. So now let's open up our leaf. And there it is. See how simple that is? How fun. So that is a big leaf. And see, here's the back side where we closed it off there and it's gathered here. So then when you put it down, just make it flat like this glue it down, hot glue, or um, you could sew it down on both ends. Kind of make it look 3D looking. But there's the leaf. So let's make one more. So this time, um, last night when I was making that um, this leaf, I'm going to show you how to make one with a little a little um, a piece of ribbon here this is a real thick ribbon too let's see if it has what it's made out of I'm just curious myself let's see acetate and metallic but that's all it says 81% acetate and 9% metallic so I have the sun going in and out here. It's partly cloudy today. But I'm going to do a smaller leaf. I'm going to cut this in half. Because you can make leaves any size that you wish. Because I was playing around. Let's see. So this measures... Three inches and a quarter. So, again, here's the face. Let me go ahead and knot my, uh, my thread here. It is very windy today, too, but it's warm. It's like spring. All right, so here's the face, and we're going to fold it in. And it says for using a smaller ribbon to make larger stitches, so... We're going to try that. Oops. Look, I gathered up that right there. All right, so let's gather it in and let's sew it off. Or Okay, I think that was enough. And then we're gonna sew up the, the raw edge here. But don't gather it. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and cut that there. I hope that this tutorial helps you. And let's go ahead and open it up. That turned out pretty. See, so you can do it with smaller leaves. So 
ici. Oh. It's a little bit stiffer of a of a leaf, but it came out. Just kind of close off that end there. Kind of round it off. There we go. You can kind of play around with your ribbons. Shape your leaf. But there it is. So I hope that you like this tutorial. Let's put it in with a couple of flowers. And this will be it of part three. Let's see what that looks like. See if I can get that to sit right. Okay, so you can kind of get it. So I hope that you like this tutorial and that it helped you out a lot and that this inspires you to make something beautiful. And follow along with all three of the videos and let me know what you think in the comments down below. I appreciate each and every one of you. You all are so inspiring and I just love y'all. So I have a blessed day and I will see you soon in my next video. Alright? Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.